during this time. So, yesterday's topic we learnt about what is the point, line segment, line and ray. So, you came to know what is the point as you use it and line, line segment, ray and open figure and also the closed figure. Children, let us learn today even more interesting topic 2D shapes and 3D shapes. 2D shapes are also called as 2 dimensional shapes. So, 2 dimensional shapes consist of measurements of length and breadth. So, it has a length and breadth. Here are the some of the example given to you where you can learn 2D shapes even more easier. So, 2D shapes you can draw it in a plane or a flat surface. So, here we have a first example square. You can see the square. I will tell you what are the qualities of a square. Square has four corners. So, square has four corners or vertices. Then, all the sides of a square are equal. For example, if you are taking here 2 cm in, in your ruler, you must take the same 2 cm throughout the four sides of a square. Did you understand children? Yes. We call the given figure as square A, B, C, D. We call it as square A, B, C, D. Let us move to the next example. This is a rectangle which has a quality similar to the square. So, rectangle also has a four corners. Rectangle also has the four corners. So, A, B, C, D are the four corners of an even rectangle. You can mention any other English alphabets for the given figure. No need of mentioning the same thing. Is it clear? Yes. We call the given figure as rectangle A, B, C, D. And the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. Not the, all the sides, the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. For example, AB, DC are equal, BC, AD are equal. So, the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. Understood children? Let us move to the another example is triangle. Triangle means what you know children? You might be thinking, right? Tri means three, R I mean three. So the number three indicates tri. So you can see this triangle has a three corners. So A, B, C are the corners of the given triangle. It has three corner and the three sides. It does not, it has equal always. It may differ according to the sums. So, let us see the last example of a 2D shapes is a circle. So, circle does not have any corners. Can you see any corners in the circle children? No, isn't it? Yes, circle is a closed loop. So, we call the circle as circle O. It is a closed loop. It has a curved shape. So, have you understood with 2D shapes, children? Yes, you have understood with this 2D shape, I hope. So, we will move to the next topic is the 3D shapes. So, 3D shapes are also known as solid objects or 3-dimensional shapes. 3 dimension in the sense its measurement is length, breadth and thickness. So it consists of 3 measurements and 3 angles. So solid shapes can be visible. Can, we can learn by
by the example. So here I have some of the object to show you what is 3D shapes. Let us see by the example of the objects. So I have cube. Can you see the shape of a cube children? Yes. It, all the sides of a cube are equal as we saw in the square. So all the sides of a cube are equal. So you can also draw a geometrical shape of a cube. So I will show you how to draw a geometrical shape of a cube. Take one square, draw one square on the board or in the paper and draw another square attached to this square. So here we have drawn two squares. Have you understood children? Now we are going to join the corners of a square. You know that square has four corners. So we are going to join the corners. This is the shape of Q. Have you understood? Yes. When we join two square, we will get a single Q. So now we came to know if square has four corners, cube has eight corners and if square has four edges, I will show you the edges. This is one edge, two edge, three edge and four edge. So this is what the edges of a cube. So if square has four edges, what the edges present in cube? Let us see by the object. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 edges over here and 4 edges over here. So, totally 8 edges. Now, we have 1, 2, 3 and 4. Totally, we have 12 edges. Is that clear children? Let us see the faces of a cube. So we have top, one face and the bottom, another face, front of you, the, another face, back of the cube, another face. So we had four faces over here. Over this right side one face and the left side another face. So total you have six faces. In the cube, three faces are visible and the three faces are hidden. Have you got it? Yes, let us move to the another example is here I have the object of cuboid. Can you see the object of cuboid? It looks like a rectangle, right? Yes. We learn. Let us learn to draw the geometrical shape of cuboid. So I am going to draw one rectangle and same we have done in the cube. Another rectangle and we know that rectangle also has four corners. We are going to join the corners. This is the shape of cuboid. Very easy now. Yes. Let us see the shape of cylinder. Children, as the word comes cylinder, what comes to your mind? Which we are using for the cooking. Isn't it? Yes, the same way the shape of cylinder is a curve. The shape of the cylinder is curve. This is the object shown, solid object shown to you. Shape of cylinder. So, in cylinder we have two faces. So, one is at the top, another is at the bottom. And it has a vertex curved vertex. It has only one curved vertex. Or a corner. It does not have any corner. It has only the curved edge. Let us move with another example. Children, is that what you know this one? What comes by seeing this object to your mind? Your play ball, right? Yes. This is the shape of a sphere. So, I have drawn the geometrical shape of a sphere. Sphere is also a closed loop. It does not have any corners 
or any vertex it is a closed or a curved edge it has the curved edge let us see another example of 3d shapes which is your favorite cone and the word i say cone what comes to your mind which ice which cone ice cream i ate yesterday what will eat i today isn't it yes the shape of a cone so you can see the object looks here this is the 3d shape of a cone cone has only one corner and one face it has one curved edge so it has one corner one face and one edge curved edge so here i have a geometrical shape of a cone it look like a cap right children yes i hope you have understood with this topic 2d shape and 3d shape and you came to know the difference between 2d and 3d shapes i hope you will find now what the object present around you uh, what the shape of this whether it is a 3d or 2d shapes can easily found out by you children thank you so much for watching this video be safe at your home and if you have any doubt do in the subject please you can ask in your respective whatsapp group we are in, we are always be there to clear your doubt thank you so much children